Happy Sabbath, friends. My name is Lucinda. And I am Lenora. The Young Missionaries Club is presenting the children's sermon for the month of January. But before we continue, Lenora, please pray for us. Let's pray. Oh, God, thank you for this day. May you bless those people in this church and help them to, to listen while we present on stage. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Lucinda, what is the theme for this month? Our theme this month is spiritual gifts and ministries. Awesome. I love gifts. See, I even got you something for your birthday. Wow. Thanks, Lenora. But I think you've misunderstood. We're not talking about these kinds of gifts. Today, we are actually talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The who see what see? The Holy Spirit, you know, the Spirit of God. Ah, what's that? Lenora, it's not actually a what, but a who. When the Bible talks about the Holy Spirit, it says he, because he is actually a person, not a thing, not a force, not an energy, but a person. Ooh, I get it. He's like one of God's good friends. No, Lenora, the Holy Spirit is God. What? I thought Jesus is God. Well, that's right. You see, God has three persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They are all completely God. God in three persons. It may seem a little bit confusing sometimes, but let me explain it in this way. I have this boiled egg here. Is this one egg? Yes. Okay, so we've got the hard outer covering, which is the shell, and then we have an egg white, and then we have a yolk. Ooh, now I get it three in one. Yes. Our God is a trinity. Tri means three. And it is important that you get to know each of the Godhead because they are all one God. The Holy Spirit is very special. Jesus gave him to us as a gift. And when we let him, he lives in our hearts. So the Holy Spirit is God and he lives inside of me. Hmm, can you tell me a little bit more of the Holy Spirit? Sure, Lenora. The Holy Spirit loves to give us gifts. Fantastic. I would like a doll and some rollerblades. Can I ask him that? Well, the gifts he gives are much more important than that. I think it's time to recite our memory verse. It will help us to understand more about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Our memory verse comes from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 1, 4, and 5. And it says, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. There are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. But the, the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one of them, the profit of all. That memory verse is hard. What is diversity? Diversities mean different types. Let me make the verse simpler for all the children. Paul is saying, now brothers. Huh? I'm sure he meant sisters too. Paul says, I want you to understand spiritual gifts. There are different kinds of gifts, but they are all from the same spirit. There are different ways to serve, but all. All these ways are from the same Lord. The Holy Spirit gives us different gifts, but these gifts are supposed to help everyone in the church. Ah! And that leads us to today's topic. Which is... Unity in diversity. Unity in diversity? Yes, let me explain. So, the Holy Spirit gives each one of us different types of gifts. What we just said, diversities of gifts. But these are not just ordinary gifts. And like a birthday gift or any other gift that you may get from family or friends, the gifts of the Holy Spirit are not only for our own benefit or for our own selfish use. They are to be used for the benefit of the body of Christ. 
What kind of gift does the Holy Spirit give us? Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 8 to 10. The Holy Spirit gives one the ability to speak with wisdom and to another knowledge. To others, amazing faith, the power to perform miracles, the ability to prophesy, the ability to interpret, the, the ability to speak different languages, and the ability to interpret those languages. Others have the gift of discernment, which means they're really smart. Other gifts are found in Romans chapter 12, verses eight, 6 to 8. We have the gifts of serving, teaching, and encouraging others. Others are given the gift of leading others, and others the gift of showing mercy. In Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 and 12, some are apostles, pastors, and teachers. There are very many gifts of the Holy Spirit. But how do we know what gift the Holy Spirit gives us? Does everybody have a gift? Sure, everybody has a gift, whether you could see them or not. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 7, that each one has his own gift from God, one in this manner and another in that. But how do we know what gift does the Holy Spirit give us? Well, some are obvious, like singing and playing instruments. You can tell if someone is good when it comes to music, but for others, it takes prayers to uncover them. Parents, every child has special gifts and talents. You need to pray that God helps these gifts to be identified, revealed, developed, nurtured, and most importantly, Used for God's glory. What is your special gift, Lenora? I don't think I have a gift. If I do, my gifts aren't any good. You can't say that. Let me show you something. I also have gifts for the Young Missionaries Club. Let's open the bags and see what's inside. We have bread in this bag. We have bread in this bag and peanut butter in the other. We have jam in this bag and a knife in the other. What do you think I might be able to make if I use all these things together? We could, ah, we could make a peanut butter jelly sandwich. You are absolutely correct. Now, could I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if I only had peanut butter? No. What if I only had jam and a knife? That will just be jam. And I can't make a sandwich with just bread unless I want an air sandwich. All these items working together make a sandwich, including the knife. It is just messy trying to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with just your fingers. You see, all these ingredients are usable and special on their own, but they work together to make a sandwich. It's like that in the church. This is how God uses us and helps us work together as his body, the church, unity in diversity. First Peter chapter 4, verse 10 says, Each one of us should use our gift to serve others as faithful stewards for the manifold grace of God. I get it now, but what if I haven't figured out my gift? Actually, I think you sing pretty well, Lenora. But you don't have to worry about that. You can pray and ask God to figure out your gifts and talents. It will be a nice gift to unwrap once you figure it out. Also, boys and girls, you can join the Young Missionaries Club so that we can figure this out together. We have so many activities that will help you discover and nurture your gifts and talents for the Lord. Lenora, why don't we ask God to help all the boys and girls know their gifts and talents? I know a song that could help us out. God, you gave me talent, treasures hidden deep inside me. Thank you, help me to know, help me to know my gift. God, you gave me talent. Treasures hidden deep inside me. Thank you, help me to know. Help me to know my gifts. If I'm a builder, let me build. 
A singer, let me sing. A writer, let me write. A prayer, let me pray. Whatever it is, I will his gifts to me. To me. If I'm a doctor, let me treat. A preacher, let me preach. A painter, let me paint. Lord, show me the way. Whatever it is, I want to start today, today. God, you gave me talent, treasures hidden deep inside me. Thank you, help me to know, help me to know my gift. God, you gave me talent, treasures hidden deep inside me. Thank you, help me to know, help me to know my gift. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the gift of life. Lord, help, thank you for helping us understand more about the Holy Spirit and the gifts he gives us. Oh Lord, may you help us to identify our gifts, and that you'll help us use them for your glory. Oh, Lord, for this is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And now, that's all we have for today. And from the Young Missionaries Club, bye! bye.